I just got an order in the mail from Craftsy and you're gonna help me open it. Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing. If that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to this channel. And I just got a special delivery from Craftsy, so we're just gonna unbox it right now. This is actually one of my favorite sites for online classes, fabric, patterns. They sell a lot of great, really good values on sewing kits and quilting kits, and of course, fabric. So I got some stuff from there, and we're going to take a look. So the first thing I got is this uh, Kona, Kona Cotton Solids Roll-Up. This is an Elizabeth Hartman curated collection. It's some really bright solids, and they were having an awesome sale. Some of this stuff is still available, some of it maybe not. I'm gonna try to link what I can below in the description box, so if you're interested in it, but go ahead and check out the Craftsy website. They have sales all the time on Fabric Notions, everything on the site, really great deals you can get, and I source a lot of my stuff from there. So I didn't really need this, but it was like 40, I think 40% off. So I thought, you know, why not? I could always use a really fun, colorful jelly roll. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I have it. So this is the jelly roll. All right, next we have, all right, so I use Aurifil thread a lot, and I have a lot of loose spools rolling around. So I noticed Craftsy was selling this little storage box. I think it was about $6. So I decided to pick it up just because it would make, you know, putting my thread in it a lot easier. See, I can, you can still sort of see me through there, right? So that is my next purchase, and I can't wait to get my thread loaded in here. I also have this really fun knit fabric. This is a Robert Kaufman knit. I don't know if they still have it, but I got a really great deal. This was about like six or seven dollars per yard. Okay, I don't know really where we were, but my camera battery just died, so I am back. And I love this fabric. This is sort of like a turquoise print with uh, white crosses on it, white pluses or whatever. And it's all cotton, so it's 100% cotton, which is something I prefer. And it's Robert Kaufman. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-wash this very soon. And I'm hoping to make some little comfy separates. So I think I'm gonna try to make some like leggings or pants out of this and the linden sweatshirt top out of it. But I'm gonna make the linden sweatshirt with the mid sleeves instead of the long sleeves. And I'm gonna try to do that. This is sort of gonna be my wearable muslin because I also got some art gallery fabric prints that were a lot more expensive. But first, I'm actually gonna try out my patterns on this first and see if it works because the fabrics are kind of similar. So if it works with this print, oh, and let me see what the line is. This is Robert Kaufman's, okay, the designer, it says her name is Ann, Ann Kelly, Ann Kelly for Robert Kaufman. And it doesn't really have, okay, it's called Remix Knit, whatever that means but it says it's designed 15227. But I think this will be really fun. And again, this is gonna be my wearable muslin for making some leggings and a top out of. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, next up. So I have the smaller version of the Clover Hot Hemmer and I love it. I use it all the time to help me press uh, hems and help me, like if I need to iron something an inch over or whatever. You know, it can also do like mitered corners. But I saw that Craftsy had this bigger version, so I thought I would give it a try. So let me take this out of the package. I don't know. Okay, oh, here we go. So this is for measuring, measuring, marking, folding, pressing, deep hems, long hems, miter corners. And this, whatever this is made of, it kind of feels felt like, but it's heat resistant. So you can iron over it and it won't hurt the hammer. Okay, here we go. So this is what it, okay, if I can get this thing out. This is what it looks like. And the regular hot hammer that I have is a different shape. It's more like a, it's got like a corner on it. This is more like a, just a straight up ruler. But this is about, like the hot hammer only goes to about here. So this is a bit longer. So this I think will be a, another needed addition to the craft room. And then I also got, I'm gonna try this version. This is a clover air soluble marker. I love purple air soluble markers. They're really the only thing I use for marking anymore, but I thought I would try this one. It was about $5, so I figured, you know, what the heck. And then while I was at it, 
I do get like a bunch of these invisible zippers. I think these were like, these were all under $2. I got all invisible zippers. I've been working with invisible zippers more lately. I do have an invisible zipper foot for my sewing machine and I got this in several different colors just to have some more invisible zippers and these are by Coates and Clark. So that is my craftsy haul for you. I'm, I know I said I would really try to cut down on the shopping. I haven't been doing too well so far so I'm going to try to do better for the rest of the year. But I figured my weakness is your gain. I'll share it anyways, you know, whatever. Just, you know, I gotta be honest here. You know, I'm not gonna be like, no, I didn't buy any fabric because I, I totally did. So, and I can't say I regret it because I really like all this stuff. But share with me, you know, what are you, uh, is there anything on your wish list right now for the sewing room? You know, share it below and also let me know, have you tried out knit fabrics? Do you have any tips for sewing with knits? because I am okay with it. I have a serger and I use, you know, right here, I do use it, but I feel like I could get better with sewing with knits. So that's it for me. I will see you next time.